what's up guys so we kind of got a debate going on right now it's me and my buddy uh behind the camera joseph <laughs> <laughs> we're uh we're trying to get this youtube channel back up and going i mean i've left you guys high and dry and hanging for about a year uh, i built this thing in the process as you guys can see it's a lot different um give us your input in the comments what we should probably rename the channel because it's going to be me and him for now on. so you might see him behind the camera you might see me behind the camera but other than that, welcome back to White Boy Chevy Channel, and uh, let's go from here. We bought something new, and it's pretty surprising. Woo. So it's actually sitting in the trailer right now, so we're going to get it out of the trailer, and we'll get right back to you. All right, so we got it out of the trailer. You guys can see right here is our new car. This is our new project. Sorry about the sun. It's kind of angled pretty bad where we are, but it is what it is. Um, I don't know if you guys are ready for this. I don't know if you guys are ready. They're not this. ready. <laughs> Might as well take a whack at it. Look at that. 1995 Dodge Viper. Don't pay attention, I got the side skirt in the truck. <laughs> don't worry about that. As you guys can see, it has this weird matte, matte coloring on it. It's actually plastic dip. I'm gonna be working on peeling it all off. I got a really good deal on this car because it wasn't an accident, but my buddy fixed it before he sold it. Uh, the hood needs to be repainted and the side skirt over here needs to be repainted. The rest of it's plastic dip, so it was all one color. It's, it looked really good when it first came out, but because it's been sitting in the sun for about six months, it started getting this like matte, like faded color. So that's why we're peeling it all off. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sand this down and do a clear coat over the lens to get it back out as good as the other side. And then I need to adjust the front bumper and the hood a little bit. But other than that, it's a 1995 Dodge Viper. And this is our new project that me and Joseph are gonna be working on. Stay tuned, we got another surprise for you in the next couple days. Uh, should we give a little look on the engine bay? Yeah. I mean, Big old V10. Oh yeah, so let's go ahead and pop the hood. It is the Viper V10. It does run and drive. Right now what we're working on doing is, is we're pulling out each individual injector and we're gonna send them off to get rebuilt because it hasn't been ran in six months. So it's the best thing to do is flush the fuel system just in case if it's dirty. Uh, you don't really wanna run the car or really fire it up because you don't wanna risk hurting the motor with dirty fuel and old fuel. Uh, first sign I did was check the oil. The oil looks old. Uh, trans fluid looks okay. Uh, clutch fluid looks okay. Brake fluid looks okay, but it does need oil. I'm going to do a full flush, but the oil is the first thing that I noticed that looked bad. Then I came over to here. And what I did was I knew it was sitting because I pulled the gas cap off. And I know you guys can't smell it, but first thing you do, you can smell from here. It it's, does not smell good. I mean, it doesn't smell good at all. So I need to drain the tank and then we'll go from there, but it's kind of a trip. I've never owned a Viper. Uh, to get in the doors, it's kind of like the Batmobile. <laughs> this is how you get into the car. Look at that clean ass interior. Interior's pretty clean. So they have a bunch of overspray on the center console too that we gotta get on peeling off. We got a 10 inch sub over there as well. And of course, it's a six speed. So that's even gonna be more fun. So this is gonna be a quick video. We'll show you guys what the injectors look like in a second after we get them all pulled out. And then we'll go from there. So we got all the injectors out of the Viper. I mean, you can see how black these they're things are. They're all fucky. They're all terrible, Joseph. They're terrible. They're really bad. So I got Joseph as we were doing it. We've been peeling this wrap. It doesn't look bad. Well, it's not a wrap, it's Plasti Dip. Previous owner Plasti Dipped it, which isn't, you know, you too bad. state-of-the-art Bondo tool? Oh yeah, state-of-the-art Bondo tool. <laughs> it's not really working that well. You no, know the hood needs to be repainted, but yeah. it doesn't look bad. I mean, it's the other side that's bad, I heard. Yeah. But, looks good. 
Got all the injectors out. It was a very simple job. Uh, what I ended up doing off camera, I ended up changing all the plugs as well. Um, I put five gallons of gas in the, the fuel tank, so when I bleed out the gas, it could bleed fresh gas through it as well, because I already drained the gas, but I need to bleed new gas through the, the fuel, uh, fuel lines. But I might be replacing all the fuel lines. I don't know 100% yet. I know that's gonna be a nightmare of a job. I mean, changing the plug wires too, those are gonna be terrible of a job because they're back here. I'm gonna have to somehow get back in there. But car has a few goodies. I mean, Edelbrock headers to Magnum Flow exhaust. It sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna fire it up. Obviously, it doesn't have fuel system into it. Pop sounds like gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> the interior, I love the interior of this car though. I mean, it is stick shift, but the gauges, it's just, feels like a straight up race car when you get in this thing. I mean, it, it's a trip. It has dual tweeters. It's it's a really nice luxury car, but it's really low to the ground, man. And you, you jump in this thing, it's like super low. Like this is what I'm looking at right here. I mean, and then when you shut the door, it's like you're in a freaking race car, man. You're so tight in here. It's insane. But, and then it's like these little windows. Hi. It's super hot in here, but it's weird. This thing has AC. It doesn't work right now because of when it got in the accident. Um, it actually messed up the AC condenser, so I'm gonna have to fix this. And the stereo system doesn't work, so I'm gonna have to figure that out too. Um, but it should be an easy fix. But I'm not gonna probably be using the AC. I do want the heater, but you take the roof off and you know, you're you're basically good driving down the road. Take the windows out too. Oh yeah, you can take the windows out too. Windows are so easy to take off. I mean, it's funny, I could do it with one hand. So Joseph, go ahead and try to take that window off. Simple as that. Oh dude, that's super simple. All right. And then it goes back in pretty well. Look at that, Just plain and easy. What, what's trippy to me is like, you're not gonna be driving this car anywhere. There's no door locks on the outside of the car at all. You gotta reach in the window to open the door. I think that's super clean. And then, bloop. I think that's just super clean on the side. Here, let me, let me show you the good side. Look at the good side. Looks so aggressive. Oh yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna redo the rims. I'm gonna be, I'm planning on doing the rims red and the center caps with black. You guys know. You guys know. You, you guys know. You guys know. Yeah. But whew. this is my baby, guys. We're uh, planning on building it, and we're gonna take this and stay tuned because this is actually a build-off. So this is one of two videos you guys are gonna be seeing. Yeah. And wait till you see B Joseph's project. <laughs> that thing is wait. sick. It's sick. So it's gonna be this versus his car. And we're gonna drag race them, and then we're gonna go to Willow Springs road course race them against each other and see who's wins. And we're gonna try to beat each other's times, and then we're gonna switch. And he's too tall; he might not even be able to fit in the car. I can't even fucking see over this. Yeah, he can. <laughs> his head's right here at the top of the window. But we're gonna swap. I'm gonna drive his car, and then he's gonna drive my car, and see if we could beat each other's times. So it, it should be pretty fun. We got we got plans for this YouTube channel, guys. Now that we're teaming up, it should be a blast. So I think that concludes today's video. Joseph, peace out. Peace out.